Artificial intelligence is already part of a lot of our day, whether you ask for it or not. At work, on your phone, even in how businesses get things done. Brooke Taylor takes a look at how companies are using AI right now. Please tell me the destination. From customer service bots to cleaning and delivery bots, Fox News gets a look at the future of AI and how robots are changing the way we work and live. It's you know expanding and, and keep accelerating. Robot Lab, which is headquartered in Texas, has locations across the country. They house over 50 types of robots, and they don't just supply the bots, but help businesses understand how to use AI to boost efficiency. Do you think that one day our competition is going to be a robot like that behind you? So it's not that robots are taking jobs. Robots are filling the gap. You know, people just are not interested in the entry-level positions, especially when we're talking about pushing carts, uh, you know, moving uh, you know, food in restaurants, cleaning floors. Industries like nursing homes are using AI bots to engage with dementia patients. Restaurants and hotels are using them to deliver food and act as a concierge service. And warehouses are using them to help sort boxes. The cleaning bots are the most popular, sweeping hundreds of thousands of square feet per day. But Robot Lab CEO Alad Imbar says humanoid bots like this one are the future of AI. Pepper uses cameras, microphones, and touch sensors to see. Probably in a couple of years, I'll start seeing humanoid robots that are capable uh, and actually valuable for everyone's life. You can get your, uh, your maid, your cook, your you know, housekeeper and everything. It's just you know, there and does everything for you. Recently, President Trump signed an executive order aimed at preventing states from overregulating AI. Inbar says this is key for keeping businesses competitive in the AI race, especially against China. It affects everything from national security, uh, you know, to productivity, um, to, you know, even the ability to, you know, sustain our lives in, you know, power consumption and everything else. So these are the things that we need, uh, you know, AI to solve for us, to work with, because, you know, if you're not first, you're last. And before we go, I want to introduce you to the robo dog. He is here and ready to show off his tricks in South Lake, Texas. Brooke Taylor, Fox News.